A Kansas City contractor now faces dozens of federal charges. Prosecutors call his business practices a scheme. Well, this follows a series of KCTV5 investigative reports as families and subcontractors accused Maximilian Howell of taking their money but not finishing the projects, suspecting that that money went elsewhere. Here's investigative reporter Angie Bracono. There are 56 federal charges. It's connected to city grants, meaning it's your tax dollars. It's for bank fraud, money laundering, and making false statements to a financial institution. The charges point out Max Howell's connections to the city, something he's always bragged about. These projects were often funded through home grant and community development block grant. These grants were awarded to the city of Kansas City, Missouri by HUD. Other projects were funded from reimbursement-based lines of credit established at Lead Bank and the general fund of the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Prosecutors say how misused funds from HUD and other grants taking bank draws for things like windows, lumber, masonry, and roofing, but the work never took place. It accuses Hal of intentionally mixing and shifting money between business and personal accounts and stiffing subcontractors he promised to pay. Our investigation revealed Max Howell has created a total of 10 businesses in Missouri and Kansas. Three are mentioned in federal charges. Entrepreneurs Enterprises, Madison Housing Partners, and EE Devco. I understand at a high level. Here's Maximilian Howe. We found this video on Facebook. It's before any federal charges were filed and civil lawsuits and liens began piling up in both states. Courageous, satisfying, and persevering. Um, need all of those. One construction project specifically outlined in the new federal charges is 2645 Madison Avenue. He's getting a huge tax break. It was the focus of a KCTV5 investigation. He's living his life like nothing is happening while all of the contractors are struggling. Numerous contractors and subs say they were never paid. He's been just saying, I will pay you. Even interest, if you want to charge me interest, I swear to God, and I, I haven't seen nothing. When payments come, like, he just disappeared. It's really hard to reach him. It operates as an Airbnb. At the time of our report, it wasn't registered with the city and didn't even have an occupancy permit. Yet it booked night after night while Tito and other contractors questioned how something like this could happen. Tito? Yeah. We checked back in with Tito in light of federal charges. He still owed $74,000. If I get that money, that would be like a relief for me. He's filed a civil lawsuit, and so have dozens of other businesses. There were mistakes. And families. The wrong windows were put in there. Like the Evans. They sued Max Howe, claiming he wanted an additional $184,000 to finish building their home. I broke down crying. Many of the allegations in their civil lawsuit mirror the new federal indictment questioning where money went and accusing Hal of not paying subcontractors. They point to liens filed against their homes and workers who stopped by. But they just closed last week? The guy was in $50,000. Said he was waiting on this closing. News of federal charges is long overdue for families who questioned a lack of accountability. They went to police and filed complaints with the attorney general's offices in both Kansas and Missouri. He literally saw our desperation and how badly we wanted to go home and he just started drooling. It, it's how I feel. Like, it, it's just, it's sick. Okay, show me. Mike Thoden had a house fire. He blames Max for what we saw inside. Explain this. I wish I could. Where that, is that's, that that's just supposed an, to go? That's just an open sewer line. That pipe should be connected to something, yet we have a ceiling already. So we're going to have to tear that whole ceiling back out. You have provided billing that is false. Our tour ended with this phone call, where Max cussed out the homeowner, dropping the F word 26 times. We reached out to Max Howell for comment on the charges. We called, emailed, and sent a text message. We have not had a response. A warrant has been issued. He is not currently in federal custody. If he's convicted of the charges, he faces up to 30 years in prison. Federal prosecutors also want the money and properties back. Angie Bracono, KCTV5 News. Angie, thank you. And we also reached out to the city for response, and we have not heard back just yet.